What's up everybody? Well, I got a little bit different gameplay video for you today. Since I've already done this game on all the rest of the systems, I decided I'd do it on the desktops because I do not believe I've done that yet. And the game we're talking about is Death Stranding. Now, I played this when it was on Game Pass and then eventually I thought it was a pretty uh, interesting game. Even though a lot of people claim that it's just a walking simulator, but I mean, yes, you do. You're a delivery guy. So of course you're going to walk around and deliver shit. But there's more to it than that. The story seems pretty interesting. That's kind of what I'm in into. I know walking around is probably going to get a little boring after a while, but hey, at least the game looks pretty. So I figured we would see how it runs on the two desktops since we didn't do that. We did it on the Steam Deck and the Asus G15 Advantage. So these guys are the only two left because back when I did that, I wasn't even doing my desktops. I think I was doing four ultra wide and 4K on the Asus G15 Advantage, but since not too many people watch those and they don't, and it doesn't really do that good on them half the time, it generally was a pretty piss poor experience unless you ran the game on low and who wants to go on a ultra wide big resolution screen or a 4K screen and then turn settings down. That literally just makes it easier to see that the game looks like shit. It looks even worse than having a low resolution like 1080p low because 4K is 10 or is four 1080p screens pretty much next to each other in a box. So yeah, you can kind of imagine if you take just one of those and blow it up to the whole freaking size of that big ass screen, you're gonna have a good time. Anyway though, let's quickly go over the specs of this guy before we jump into the game just for any newcomers. I'm sure all my actual subscribers are getting tired of hearing me repeat the damn thing over and over again, but they probably just skip that shit. So anyway, we got ourselves a 58. 100X3D. We have an RTX 3090 Founders Edition. We have a ASRock Tai Chi X570 motherboard. We got 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz DDR4. It's CL14 dual rank. We got a thousand watt Corsair RM1000 goal rated PSU powering the whole thing. And then we've got a 360 millimeter all EK all in one basic radiator all in one for the 5800X3D. But stays very cold during gaming, but it'll still get really hot if you like run the thing out. Like I noticed during the shader pre-caching of The Last of Us, this shit was getting up to like 88, 90, which is the thing's max temp. So it still can't handle being completely maxed out to the balls to the wall, even with a big ass radiator like that. So now I can see why people uh, under or do the uh, undervolting thing with the performance boost underdrive overdrive program with this thing. I might try to do that too. Not very often that things push that thing up that high, but still. Anyway, then we've got ourselves a 3440 by 1440 ultra wide Alienware monitor. It's IPS, doesn't have HDR or anything like that. It's just 120 hertz, G-Sync, and 34 inch ultra wide monitor, 3440 by 1440. Doesn't have free sync or anything else like that. So you pretty much are stuck with an NVIDIA GPU if you want to use adaptive sync on this guy. Anyway though, now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's go hop into the game now. Well, all right guys. Now we're gonna just quickly go through the settings for this game real quick before we hop on into the game. There's really not that many settings here. But anyway, there we go. So, now we got into the bottom. Let's go hop on into the game and see how it plays. Well, here we go. We're not quite at the beginning of the game, but we're pretty damn close to the like start of the game. This is pretty much like right after you get to town for the first time. So now we're making a trek to incinerate somebody. And so I don't ruin that for anybody who hasn't played this yet. I'm not gonna tell you who that is. You'll find that out when you play. But yeah, this is a very interesting game. I used to kind of make fun of it back in the day before giving a chance. Everybody called it the walking simulator. Because all you do is walk around, but... The story seems pretty interesting. I mean, you're literally a courier, so I mean, what else are you going to do besides deliver packages and whatnot, you know? America lives on, together with Bridget's undying spirit. But all right, so it looks like we're going up to that tower looking thing. Heck, I probably didn't even need to keep hitting the G button and finding that. I could have just looked for the tower in the distance, you know? I go through the hole. And now we are off on our trek. Yep. 
All right, there's that tower thing over that way, okay. So, how do we get to it? That is the question. I guess we'll just find out as we go, huh? Yeah, yeah, just like that. Oh yeah, that's right. This game's got or this game's got random music that pops in, probably to keep you entertained while you're walking. It's happened a couple of times where I've just been out here walking. I don't know if it's gonna do that the whole game, but man, this game actually uses quite a bit of the processor sometimes, too. But I kind of like games that actually use the processor a little. Instead of being like, all right, well, we're going to run on, like, two cores and be Stutter City. And this is a DX12 game. And I wasn't sitting there with my eyes glued to the frame times, but I'm pretty sure it was a pretty damn smooth experience. There's a lot of water over here, jeez. I'm gonna have to probably cross that somehow, eventually. Because I think what I want is beyond that mountain that's right in front of me. I think it's blocking our view of the little smokestack too. So this is the kind of time where it's useful to have that, exactly. That's what I thought. I guess I can't quite go through there. At least I didn't fall over. All right, can I climb up that? Oh, we're gonna try. Hell yeah, I can. All right, well, I guess song time is over. Oh cool, there's a way across. Sweet. That makes things a whole lot easier. Whoa, I almost fell back. Well alright guys, let's get ourselves a little camera recorded gameplay now. Go across this little ladder. Now let's just go over that way, eh? Well then over that way we will go. Finding ropes? Where? Where's that rope? Oh, right there. Cool. I was gonna say, how the hell am I gonna get up there? Well, that's how. Too 
close indeed. Well, looks like I'm not the only one who had the idea to just come down this route. It seems like this is the route everybody takes to get to the incinerator, huh? Cool, like that. Let's get on up here. Definitely some terrain, that's for sure. All right, over that way. Ah, oh, that big old thing over there must be it. Can I climb up over all that? That's gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna try it because it's the path of least resistance. Looks like we got up here. Badass. So that's the place. Well, I know I'm supposed to go in there, so I guess let's go take care of this. interesting world that you live in, or that these guys live in, that they've got to do that just so weird kind of shit doesn't happen. in the area is climbing rapidly. Heavy time fall is imminent. Get back here, now. Well, all right. Sam, burn the other cargo while you're there. Not gone, and our headquarters along with it, because that thing didn't do its job. It's all in Igor's logs. But it's still alive. It can't be repaired, and it can't survive outside the pod. Pity it if you want, 
But the decision has been made. It has to go. The director approved the order. Well, all right. Since this is just a cutscene anyway, why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Death Stranding on the secondary computer here, and it handled it absolutely great. Only thing that was weird about it is it did not seem to do full ultra wide. It was like a weird resolution. So I don't know what was up with that, but still close enough to 3440 by 1440, at least in my opinion, and it still handled it flawlessly. No crashing, no random stutters. Very good experience. And obviously you could just turn V-Sync on, like I always say at the end, and save some extra heat in your room room and some extra wear and tear on your GPU unless you like that and you don't care about screen tearing or anything. That's the cool thing about PCs. If you want to do something nine times out of ten you can unless your computer just can't handle it for whatever reason. But in any case that is all we got for this particular video so I certainly hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys and until the next video peace out guys.